What is up, guys? Argue back again in this video, bringing some post draft uh, talk. How I think it went down, and you know what? Surprisingly, the Oilers did take Yakupov that whole day. <clears throat> Sportsnet, um, our local radio station, they're all saying Murray, Murray, Murray. Tambo goes up there, takes Yakupov. I was quite relieved by that. I actually did get to see Yakupov yesterday, so I'll kind of talk about what my first thoughts were. According to other drafts made, we actually, I don't know if you guys heard about this guy before, Daniel Zarkarov, I believe I'm saying that right, but he was projected as high as like 32nd and as low as like 60-some. We ended up picking him up at 91st, surprisingly. And I was reading a couple scouting reports on him, and they say he's like a one-trick pony, but that one trick puts the puck in the net, and his effort is sometimes not there. But honestly, if he can pan out, put in some motivation, I think he'll work out. He he knows Yakupov, they're both Russians, so I don't know, maybe that's a little motivation being on the same team. But going to Yakupov now, because I think that's the main thing, it was Yakupov or Murray. When I went to the Oilers development camp yesterday, uh, all the rookies were there, about 30 of them, 5 goalies, like 9 or so D, rest forwards. Maybe a little more D. But um, Yakupov, the one downside I see to him is his skating. There is a couple players on the, the camp there that are much better skaters than him. But it's not like he's a bad skater. He's just not phenomenal. But when you start talking about his release and his hands, he's got top end talent right there. Like he's got a crazy fast release. He's accurate. And he can move the puck in tight spaces. Like some of these drills they were doing, he was on it. Some other players couldn't do it. And seeing Yakupov do this was top end. Going into the hockey season now, it's going to be interesting with the Oilers because now we are a pretty strong offensive powerhouse team. Hall, Eberle, RNH, Hopkins, Gagne. We tendered Gagne's offer, which was surprising. But then again, we also tendered Omar, because I don't think Omar will re-sign with us. He came out publicly on Twitter saying he wants the Oilers to give him another chance on another team. So we'll see what happens there. But as for top two lines go, honestly, I think RNH and Eberle are going to be a duo on one line. They played phenomenal last year. RNH just seems to know where Eberle is wherever, whenever. RNH is a big passer. Eberle is actually all around. Great Great shot, good hands, great passing. So I think it would be better for them to put another shooter on that line, maybe Yakupov or Hall, and then whoever doesn't go on that line will be playing with Hemsky and Gagne. Although Hemsky and Gagne did not have that much chemistry last year, it was, they were actually playing pretty well. Hemsky, Gagne, and Hall. Maybe they'll go with, like, uh, or R&H, uh, Everlet. RNH Hall and Hemsky, and then maybe they'll go Gagne, Eberle, and Yakupov. Who knows? We'll see. I think RNH and Eberle should stick together, put a shooter on that line. I think that would be a dominant first line. Power play is going to be amazing again. Hopefully, we get Justin Schultz. That's a big issue now, too. Oilers actually brought Taylor Hall to their meeting with them to put a little more convincing powers into it. Anyways. Who do you think was the biggest steal of this draft? I actually think it was Daniel. He seems like a great player too. He's a big body, pretty fast, and a great shot as well. This video is wrapping up. I did pick up Max Payne, so if you guys want to see some of that, let me know. Either bring you guys some multiplayer, maybe some single player. But other than that, the video is wrapping up here with the final goal. Our team here had some pretty good offensive chemistry. It was just a drop in game. Anyways, guys, the video is wrapping up. Drop a like. Comment, any feedback, peace out, it's been argued.